Look, no, no disrespect. I'm your older cousin. Do you think it's appropriate to walk around the house like this? Stop, stop. Really? Stop, stop recording. Stop. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Man puts his female cousin in check for wearing the same things to a club around family members in order to get attention. And what she says back to him goes viral. I'm not going to hold you. Go ahead and hit that like button. Definitely share the video. If this is your first time watching, hit that subscribe button. It's Sunday. Let's get to it. Because I can tell you this. If you ask this young lady, is she intelligent? She'd look you dead in your eyes and say yes. If you ask her, does she have manners? She'd say yes. But she's been interrupting and she's been rude and unruly this whole time, which is why I have to address it. Because too often, guys will look at her and say, you know, she's attractive. I want to smash. And because they want to smash, they're about to start tap dancing and like being real nice. And because they never told her the <laughs> truth, she doesn't even know the truth. That's the point. You get lied to, then you get smashed and dashed. And and at the end, you're wondering why, because you have no sense of reality. And why does the lie work on you? Because you want to be lied to. That's why as a man, when you start living in reality, it's hard for you to be around these girls that are in La La Land. Majority of women that live in La La Land are the pretty girls because they constantly have somebody that wants to sleep with them and tell them what they want to hear to get to the cheeks. After a while of a woman hearing this, she starts to believe that that's her real reality. So are are you single? Do you believe you're single? Or is there anyone out there that believes they're in a relationship with you? I'm single. I am single. I do have a rotation, but... It's <laughs> <laughs> you can't get mad at that man for saying that because ladies tell men all the time that they have guy friends when they know that the man does not want them to have guy friends. He can have girlfriends and you're already trying to cut him off. But Thank you for your honesty. I just gotta be honest because it's gonna come out eventually. So you mm -hmm. know what I mean. Like I appreciate it. But you, I'm not doing nothing with it, with everybody if, if that's what you're trying to get at. But stand your ground. Tell her it's cool. There's plenty of fish in the sea, and I guarantee you, you start to see a change out of her. We talk on the phone, you know. I need my man to be my man. Think about me and only me. So when you talk to me, you drop everybody else. It don't work like that at the beginning. You got to start cooking meals. You got to start helping that man. You got to start bringing peace before he starts cutting off all the women. If a man can have a process of elimination the same way a woman does, then he should be able to pick out the best one for him. Because guess what? A woman's true nature is hypergamy. She's going to choose the best guy for the job. And they get mad when men say that back. Oh, uh, what type of slippers are those? This is a fake joke. These are real ones. Why you, look, no, no disrespect. I'm your older cousin. Do you think it's appropriate to walk around the house like this? Yeah. No, girl, like, you know, we not at a spot. Go put some clothes on. Get some shorts. A long t-shirt. Awesome. Not sure. Get a long t-shirt, the Asia. Like, nobody. Uh, get out of here. Women like wearing skippy stuff because it makes them feel desired. But they lose consciousness and focus and it's not realizing that you're around family members and he's still a man. He's trying to tell you, listen, we're cousins. You should not be wearing this around us. Wear that around dudes you're trying to attract, but women don't get it because they always need the attention. Girl. That's, you're not, I'm still older than you. We didn't need the same thing. Are you not? We not the same And you got these Versace slippers. I think that you should take this off. I think that, whoa, I think you should change your outfit. What do you think? What's wrong with my it's too revealing. Girl, go take your outfit. That man sitting in there, he could barely control himself. He's doing the right thing. Get in the comments and let me know. What would you do? Story time about how I thought I found the love of my life, and he played me like a fool. So, yeah, found the man. I thought he was the one. We good. We, you know, everything's going straight. I'm thinking it's the one, y'all. I'm thinking, yes, I can post you. I'm good. I never have to worry about nobody saying nothing. The opposite. Yeah, my man work. He worked late nights. He's a hardworking man. He like, yeah, princess, whatever you want, I got it. Yeah. So I'm texting his phone. I'm texting his phone. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, babe, like, you know, is you up, you up, you up, you up. I want you guys to stop and just look at her nails. When you see a woman that has taken a time out the day to make sure each one of her fingers look different than the next, she a little cuckoo. So y'all post on my Instagram or whatever. I'm like, y'all like, you know, looking good, bored, my man's sleep. He sees it. Are you mad at me? Did I not answer your call? Did you find out about something? Did I do? Y'all, he looks again. So now I'm like, look, he confused. I'm like, okay, what, what's going on, right? So now I go to my close friends. So I only put him in it. So I type or whatever. I'm like, oh yeah, babe. Like, why are you just watching my story and not responding? He watches it again. Don't say nothing though. So then I add his name and I say, babe, what's going on with you? Why are you not answering my phone call? What in the 
Why did somebody text me and say, are you dating him? Stupid. If I just said, babe, why you not answering the phone? And I just added this man. Why would you text? Y'all you see them crazy vibes coming out right now? You see that? This is why when you get in a relationship, you and that woman needs to pull away from social media. Because when you start putting your business out like that, you're not going to like what you get back. What you talking about? Like, I'm laughing now. Like, you playing a prank. You play Where the camera's at? Where the fucking camera's at? Y'all, she's texting me like, yeah, how long you been dating him? Am I in an interrogation room? What are you talking about? How long I've been dating? Why is it? What are, let me see who's behind the screen. Because now you have me furious. I'm, I'm finna get mad. I'm a thousand miles away. I'm finna get upset. Don't make me go on spirit and tell him to get the soul plane and drive. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Y'all, she's like, I'm not playing. I can send you the pictures. Here go my number. Oh, you one of them. If somebody tell you drop the Addie, you drop the Addie. But don't do that to me. Because what are you talking about? Y'all, why do I text this lady? She's showing me pictures, videos, messages. Why when this man tell me good morning, he's telling her good morning, queen? Because we're in the year of the drizzle drizzle. That means if he's talking to another woman, then you're obviously not doing things in a relationship that you should be doing. It's your queen. Why is this the same? Oh, yeah. I'm getting off work right now, baby. I'm going to call you. He's telling me the same thing. You got a double. This is a Tyler Perry movie. Tyler, give me my rounds. Because what? Are you serious? Y'all still to this day, I want to murder that man. But you know what? It's cool. The same thing that making her cry is the same thing that making her stay. Every woman wants to be with a man that they know can get another woman. I used to be down, but now I'm like, okay, yeah, because now we're good. But you know what? I wish both of them nothing but the best. Don't fall in love, y'all, because it's for the birds. If you think he can still clap those cheeks, Get in the comments and let me know. In the morning, and then you get a text. Good morning, handsome. I'd love to get breakfast with you. All breakfast on me at this spot right down the street from you. Then you get another message. Hey there, stud. I'm going to the gym at 12 p.m. I'd love to go with you. Maybe you can teach me a thing or two. I'll teach you a couple things. Then you get another one. Hey, having a penthouse party tonight, 9 p.m. It's going to be great. You can network with some other higher status guys that we're inviting. It's going to be great. I and mean, I'll have some of my girlfriends there as well. All bad pay. What's up, handsome? Just sending you $500 because you're so good looking. Oh my God. You're the one, baby. Let's say that happens to you for one day. You probably think you're the shit. Then it happens for two days. You're going to think, damn, I'm on the door. I'm like almost on God mode. Now it happens for seven days. Then you think you're invincible. You guys see what I'm going here? You literally would think you are God's gift to women if you got this type of love every single day for nothing more for the fact that you exist in the other you would become a piece of shit person, wouldn't you? You would just sit there and be a low like, not read, not better yourself, not go to the gym. My friends, that is the life of a modern day girl that's super attractive. This is why at the end of the day, the pretty girls never find a husband. All they do is find sugar daddies that are going to have multiple men their whole life. It's the regular girls that get the husband and live the great life. And I tell guys, you want to aim for them sixes and sevens. Because them nines and tens, they stay in la-la land. For, when they start running out of steam, they start getting plastic surgery, Botox, and then they just look even worse. What race do you prefer? White boys. Oh, the white boys. What's so good about them? They're easy, and then I can tell them what I want, to, want them to do, and they do whatever that I say. Yo, black guys don't like to do what the guys say. No, we don't. These are white boys, man. What the hell is going on? Are we talking about, like, in and Oh, uh, yeah. This is why when you go on P-Hub, you always got that one white lady with a husband that wants seven black dudes. Basically, when you're pretty, like, you actually pay for nothing in your life. I'm not joking, like, I don't understand why you'd actually struggle when you're pretty. I mean, in some ways, I guess she's right. Yeah, but in some yeah. ways, no. I mean, the Chanel bags and Rude bags is a bit of a reach. So free dinners and nights out, yeah. Yeah. I'm getting yeah. that. So you get that. So that's why if a man wants you, they have to pay. Yeah, but Chanel bags is a bit, like, yeah. extra. I mean, that's expensive. Yeah. But I'll show you. Do you want to see some videos? Okay. Yeah, show me the video. Yeah, amazing. Listen, you guys need to just come to Dubai with me. Have, like, the best time. My boyfriend will never let me go to Dubai. And I said, what is that, baby? Oh, my God. Are you actually serious? Who is that? Is that Yeah. On your face and your neck. It's for the, so you tell me nothing, just looking pretty, and you're in the wide getting shut on. But you're not meant to do that. No, don't, no, 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 no. That's just an odd thing. Don't take a second. Can you come back and answer, like, on your phone, what I said about the poem? I need you to just not put that in there again. Oh my god, I'm really sorry. I was in the world. So, men are buying you bags, but they're bending over, pooping on your face, and you're bragging about having nice things. Because pretty girls don't pay for things. Get in the comments and let me know. Is this La La Land or what? My boyfriend hey. is kicking me out of the what house. And wait till you hear why. You throw all my stuff in garbage bags? Maria, stop doing me. Get in the car. What is your issue? Come on, Maria, get no. in the car. I'm coming no. in your mom's house. Get why? in the car. Why? You think I'm stupid, Maria? No. My friend showed me the messages and he showed me your replies. Must be saying I have a boyfriend? And you think there's nothing wrong with it? No. Everyone and their mother knows. 
know is that loyal girls don't reply to DMs. Finally, right. somebody gets not it. not loyal. You're for the streets. Now get in the car. That man ain't lying because if you respond, it shows that there is a chance because you're making a connection there. All he has to do is stay consistent at giving you the attention and then he eventually can pull you away from your man. Every man knows this. Stop, stop. Really? Stop, stop recording. Really? really? Right, how's your face, bro? How's your face? Really in front of the house? Bye. In front of the house. Okay, bye. In front of the house. Okay, bye. The only day I wake up early, this is what you're doing out here? Okay, bye. 6 a.m. in the morning, y'all are in front bye. of the house. Bye. Bro. In front of the house. Okay, bye. In, in front of, in my truck. Bye. In bro, how long have you been talking to her, bro? She didn't tell you about me? Bro, right in front of my bye. house? Bye. I'm, I'm getting my shit and I'm leaving. Can I get my shoes? Grab your shit. Bro, just get, get on. Bro. Get on my car, bro. Okay, bye. Get on my car. Bro. At least he kicking her out. But, men, we got to start learning to read the room before you start getting close with these women. I'm going to tell you right now, the pretty girls are typically the most ones that are messed up in the head. We are all wolves in sheep's clothes. We disguise our ruthless nature through an outward show of innocence, kindness, playfulness, and fun. And then once we get what we want, the facade drops and our true women ways. This is why you can never be conquered by a woman as long as she's chasing you. She's gonna play her role. I will do anything for you. I am so sorry. Anna. I will do anything. Please look at me, please. It's okay. You just gotta go to the office. Please. Can I call my mom? Not right now. You guys, please. Not right now. Please, I'm sorry. You guys, I'm sorry. I will do anything for you. Where's you? Where's you? I don't know. For sure. When they start saying, I'll do anything, typically that comes with some nice fellatio. Calling them queen while insulting is insane. Go. Oh, right here. If we can have your name and age. I'm Charisma and I'm 27. And Charisma, what do you do? I'm a hairstylist. And uh, why did you end up hopping your balloon? I mean, one of his deal breakers were if you're older and I'm 27 and he's 26, so yeah. <laughs> and then before he said that, you did have it unpopped. Yeah, I mean, he's tall. He, you know, is sure about what he wants. I was, you know, intrigued until he said the age thing. So <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> have you ever dated someone younger than you? I have. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, age isn't a big deal for me. But, you know, if it's not his forte, then... Okay. So she is 27. Yep. How you feeling her, though? She's cool. Yeah. I wouldn't say that she's my type, but yeah. Okay. So what makes her not really your type? I would say, like... Again, I look at the outfits, but also physically, I don't feel like there's any chemistry between us physically. Okay. I agree. She looks old and out of shape. With that lime green on, she's still going to the clubs. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right. Let's head on back over here. So we do still have quite a few balloons unpopped. So the game gets switched on over to you. I'm going to hand okay. you a toothpick. Damn. Okay. Um, All right. There, so we do still have quite a few girls. <laughs> So, I'm gonna have you pop three. I know, that's why um, This is brutal, okay. All right. You pop those three and I'll come after. Damn. You're done. Yeah, I know. Hold on now. I'll be doing three. Let me see here. Sorry. Okay, two more. Damn, this is hard. All right, let's start with the first one you popped. <laughs> if we can have your name and age. I'm Lex and I'm 23. And Lex, what do you do? I'm an insurance broker and I host Christian parties. Oh, great. Amen. Nice. And now, why did you have your belief? When they dress in sleazy and they still talking about they're a Christian and they like to throw parties, she for the streets. Your balloon unpopped. Because he seemed like he had his stuff together. Literally, that's it. And he likes him. Not complaining about that. So, Ryan, why did we end up popping her balloon? Damn. You know what it was? I think it was your demeanor. Just the expression on your face didn't look that enthused. I think that was just your natural resting pose. <laughs> that is. And that was literally it. I get that a lot, so it's all good. You're obviously a great person, so <laughs> I didn't have anything to go off of, so yeah. Right, see, now she's smiling. It's different, mm -hmm. isn't it? different. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, thank you. They always got to play this tough demeanor, and then they like to loosen up. This is why you ladies can't get a man. Ain't nobody trying to break that ice at the beginning. You better come in smiling. I got the birthday girl and my wife. That's right. That's right. right. Hey. 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 I'm sorry, you the only man at this table. Why are we doing separate all women here? I'm not responsible for paying everybody. I got the birthday girl. You invited everybody. You invited all of us. I didn't invite you. I didn't see nobody to you. Okay? I'm 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 responsible for who I'm doing. Okay, you're the only man. I'm sorry, hold on. We was all doing rushing the leg, paying your credit cards and all that. Now all of a sudden you want to click check? That man ain't got to pay the bill. He was invited just like you was invited, but he's already volunteering to pay for his meal. The person that invited everybody is supposed to be paying. Let's get that straight. And just because he's the only man, that does not make him entitled 
to pay that bill. 2021. The only man at the table. You not gonna pay the taxes? I don't. I'm not. I don't know. If that was the case, I would have just. I just took you out. Are you? Yeah, he's absolutely right. If he don't know everybody at the table, only seven hundred dollars. No, if I only ate $50 worth of food and the people I'm with only ate $150 worth of food, where's the extra five? Sorry, sweetheart. It's time for you to pull out your bank account and show everybody how independent you are. What does independent mean to a man? You're independent from a man. You're going to let him sit here with a whole table full of women? I really feel like it's not his responsibility. And when y'all get a husband? I know. I'm married. Oh, I'm sorry. Good thing the wife stepped in and checked everybody because technically that is her husband. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Definitely share the video. If this was your first time watching and you made it this far, hit the subscribe button. I post every day. See you on the next video.